To all my viewers here on the second channel, I hope that this video will encourage you to go and check out this game, especially if you love puzzle games. This is like a soccer ban block pusher that goes pretty deep on that concept, adding in a bunch of twists and changes. But the game just has this gorgeous atmosphere to it, this feel of like mystery, intrigue and exploration that is just fantastic and I've been obsessed with this game for the last couple of weeks and I wanted to uh, share it with all of you so as you'll see here um, we actually have like well this is this is I've got really far into the game <laughs> I'm not gonna jump into that I'm gonna start a new game and kind of walk you through the first puzzles show you what the game's about for the first portion of the stream then for the second portion we're going to go to where I currently am and you can see how stuck I am because when you get deep into this game, the puzzles start to get really difficult and quite meta. I'm also streaming this on Twitch. Hello to everyone saying hello in chat. Kent's pronounced username. It says feels retro. That's the other thing. The aesthetic of this game reminds me of um, like SNES era graphics and it's just wonderful. Let's call this one uh, stream since we're live. On the switch.tv slash the assumer. And some of you that think it looks familiar in any way, we actually played a demo of this when it was called Akura. And so now we're coming back and we're we're playing it. It's fully released, the whole game. It's not an early access thing. It's available on Steam. And it's amazing. If you're watching this on the second channel, there'll be a link to the Steam page in the description box down below. By making this video, I just want to kind of like put a bit of attention on the game. If I can, if I can convince any of you that like puzzle games to uh, to give it a go, you know. So there's some arrows here kind of showing you what to do, right, to get, get you going. Uh-huh. I'll walk over here. We'll learn what that does over there. And I love this kind of method of teaching you how to play a game, just, just putting it in front of you. So also on the walls here, we've got like L and R on the controller pad because I'm playing with a controller. Um left goes back so we undo the last moves now we don't undo walking around but we do under undo interacting and then right trigger will restart the whole level and sometimes you can actually sort of restart a level mid playing it to do some of the puzzle elements it's uh, amazing like that mini beanie art says the game is so cute it really is it really is awesome okay uh, so if we press this, we unlock that over there. We go and get our very first key. Uh-huh. We've got one key. Guess where we can use it? Not here, not there, but on the key slot. And then, bam, you understand how that works. So now, you know, on the very first level, you've been introduced to a bunch of the basic mechanics. But then, in front of us here, we are teased for a thing that's going to take a very long time to do, which is to open this door. But what, what I love about the game is it doesn't spell it out to you there's no text anywhere you're not being told what the story is right you're just left with things to do like you know that okay that's as far as i can go that way let's go the other way by the way it's a hole you fall down it and when you die you just immediately reappear so when you make mistakes you're not really punished that much for it so now we know that when we get a key we can go over to the right and we can also go here and go to the left which we will now do and we enter another set of puzzles okay the rock that you see here this is an element that changes later in the game so another thing about these levels is that as you get deeper into the game you continuously come back to this part of the world and explore it there is also a map and we've only seen this much of the ancient island but believe me it goes further than just the ancient island so uh, we learned, by the way, by walking over this, that it turns into a hole once you've gone the whole way over. So our problem here is that if we want to ring the bell, we can't escape, right? So if we go back, we've got a, a box to push next to it. And then that becomes a filled in hole. Then we've got to do the same thing again, right? This here, a new tile, what does it do? It kills us if we walk on it. So that makes this a little learning lesson that you can push off a block like that so you can't go on that tile but you can push this thing around now this here is like the wooden belt except it's like the next tier up uh-huh 
and now we can go get a key right but then here you know how on earth do we do this you see sometimes you've got to backtrack in these levels um also this happens quite often there are just little different ways into the level you can take the right side or the left side we'll go this way and just take that i'm not sure if this puzzle here yeah no this this will be solvable i think let's put that there uh maybe not yeah now that i think about it you go down the left side right then you can hit this one which is like the third tier of unlockable whatever we call that now you can go up here break that and get a key the reason sometimes you have them like this is just set up so that you can like backtrack and move around the level a little easier later on it's really great i love the whole way this this whole thing is set up it's beautiful uh, so let's go ahead and try and solve this puzzle right we can do that then we can ring this one uh-huh but we're like we're one short aren't we we're one short of getting to the end there let's go up and back down again i could have pressed the reset button for that i can't remember if this is solvable right now it is it is okay yeah yeah let me show you how this is solvable right so remember we came down the left hand side first now that we've done this we can reset the level and use this box and send it down below uh-huh so now the level will become solvable to us pretty cool and i love that and it and it gets it gets deeper and deeper the more you play the game anyway once again welcome to everyone for tuning in i uh, appreciate your coming by and hanging out with me today i'm also as you might be able to tell kind of doing the beginning of this stream for the uh, second channel for the peeps over there i'm gonna hopefully be able to get um some eyeballs on that vod okay you know and bring people to this game because i think it's amazing if you love puzzle games this is one of the best ones i've played in a long time now remember what i was saying earlier about undoing moves to like solve multiple puzzles like rather than restart the whole thing the game will just let you go ahead and uh, undo your moves and now we've got on two keys three in total there's actually some doors that require three keys to be open but we've got to find a way over to here and you'll notice there's some curious things on the map now uh, but before any of that we have to go in the opposite direction also i need i need a moment just to adjust some settings i notice there's something off with my avatar uh, where is the settings for that again uh yeah i've got a feeling it's picking up the wrong mic okay test one two test one. there you go now it's working now it's working right and let's get my notifications on the screen we have uh oh ordained dread became a new patreon thank you ordained dread much appreciated two hours ago probably not around right now but thank you nonetheless cole mick thank you for 35 months winnie t ford's here for 75 and russell woods here for 32 thank you for your support peeps all right does anyone remember the akura stream from many years ago anyway over here we're being introduced to another element in this game we can stand on these tiles to you know change what areas we can access and stuff so there's there's a box conveniently left open for us bam and now we can get rid of that down there so we move that out of the way go down here pretty straightforward stuff but i've played i've played this game a lot and so i kind of know most of its tricks and i can solve these levels pretty quickly so if, if you're considering playing this game for yourself and you don't want spoilers and all of that you know Keep that in mind. Uh, let's go ahead and push this one down into this area. Come back around, knock that over there. Oh, I, did I miss a push? I did. And then when we go over here, we get to toggle it again and get a key. And then give ourselves access. So now when I hit restart, you'll see we can avoid the puzzle and just walk through the area a pretty cool way to uh, lay this thing out so if you didn't have three keys you can go into that top area there's a puzzle here with yet another new element let's go unlock the top door and see what's up here though aha uh -huh. right you need to get a star 
to unlock that and there's a key. You can see we're being enticed to go over there. The star that we need is actually here. So I might as well take it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, down we go. Now we can unlock this. And we will see them again and they will have higher star values. And then we get a key and we go on the turtles. Now this is where the game starts to take off a little bit. I want to I want to point out the music. The soundtrack is gorgeous, right? It's a really great soundtrack. It's got a very immersive feel to it, but then when you hit this moment, it's like, oh, wait, what? I can explore the world? That's right. There's a whole world to explore. And there's a new block over here. What's that? There's something up there as well. When you open up the map on these things, it'll show you um, what's in each little area. But this is just a small island with like a, a one-off, you know, puzzle. Now, because I went up the side here, like there was a little reward, you get an extra key. There's a lot of that. You've got to keep your eyes peeled. There's so many things to pick up and uh, take note of when you play this game. Now, we can't actually do this puzzle until we got seven stars. And one of the reasons is probably because of this block below me. Um, as I mentioned, parts of the game will change as we play. And that is one of those things you can't do that level without. So it's locked behind some stars to make sure you unlock it first. Uh, we're going to go focus on doing that next, actually, I think. If I'm not mistaken, it is this big island here, which you can see we can enter from both sides, so there's more to explore on the opposite side. On this island, we're now going to try and uh, unlock that change that I've been talking about. Also, pay attention to the beaches, because there are these little extra paths to walk down. Um, so over here, nothing for us to do in that area yet. There's a cave area down below. Over to the right is another little puzzle that you have to explore the whole world to solve. And if I do this again, like when we go up and down, it shows you the elements that are included that you can interact with on the map. Or in the section, let's say. And on the bottom left, it shows you the things that are available to obtain. So we know there's a key here, but look, it's locked behind this thing. So we'll have to come back later to get that. Uh, VZ Mora, welcome to the stream. Reminds me of that Japanese tale with the turtle. Is, is it got something to do with the name Akura? Because that's what it was originally about, this. Dance and Suma Dance. You want me to dance? <laughs> Fragrant Badger, thank you ever so much for 15 months. Also, I've got a hot cup of tea here. Almost forgot about that. Oh, gorgeous. Right. Um, another, another element we're being introduced to is this. When you walk over it, it becomes unwalkable again. Kind of like the opposite of that hole. So then we're given a little puzzle to solve in order to... Um, in order to... Let's see. We've got to get... We've got to get the wooden thing. I haven't, I haven't come up with a proper name for that in my mind yet. Here's, here's how I'm thinking it's going to work. We push that. We go up here. And then we start to push this one across. Now we're leaving a path back out of here, yeah? So we can go in the one time, we can come back out. And now we get something that is different from a key. Keys you spend, these ones you won't, right? It's a mysterious new thing. Now look at how this block is positioned, right? We can't push it. But if we try and push it up, we'll learn that this thing can actually revert the state of that over there. So very nicely positioned to teach you what to do and then to let you, you know, when you restart the level, just walk straight through go to the next area. Really good, really good game design stuff going on here. Okay, we're going to head up top because I believe, yeah, this is where you're going to see what that thing we just picked up was. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we have one of them and we need to get six. And then there's a bunch of puzzles here. There's a thing over there on the right that looks fancy and new. There's one over there that's hidden behind this. There's, there's many things to learn right now. So our, now our current objective is to get more of those so we can come back here. So six. And there's two of them in this level, which we can do this right-hand side if we use one of our keys. Okay. Uh, we got to get over to the right-hand side in the top corner. And I think, I think this is relatively simple. You just do that. 
Okay, drop it on top of there, come out and go grab this thing. Very nice. That's all we can do for now though, right? So we're up to two. We two of six, and there's two more to be had here. Let's see what we can do. We need to get the right-hand side first, which means we need a block onto the switch over here. I'm just going to go ahead and do this without thinking very much. Ah. That'll be the downside of uh, not thinking a lot, right? Okie dokie. Start again. It's fine, don't worry. We can push in the block from here. And that gives us that. Then we'll do the same thing again. Notice how there's like a little bit of pixel art going on with the tiles. And the uh, alienoid looking figure, if we call it that. Yeah, so we walk in here, push that on there. And now we can only come out like the one time. So we're locked off from that area. Now we can grab our third of six, ring the bell... But we can't get back over to the other side. However, down here, we've got this thing again. And uh, as you'll see, that allows us to go in and get out again. Then we can walk up here and grab the bottom one. That is four out of six. We are absolutely breezing through this. Reason being, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Played this game before. Right, is it going to be straightforward to get any more, though? Because... There's a fair few blocked off paths here. Right, we can go to the right, and we can go down. Was there anything to grab if you go straight down here? Yeah, you can go around the corner and get a key. And you can see another level that you'll be able to navigate to later on. I love the way it's all laid out, because you're just continuous, continuously seeing glimpses of things you're going to do in the future, and reasons to backtrack and stuff. Now, this puzzle here is musical, but that's something we're going to have to get into at another time. We need to discover a musical note, which uh, takes a fair bit of, like, observational skill. And I can see where the note is on this level. I'm going to go stand, like, above it. So if you look down two tiles, you'll notice that there is a note. You have to stand on that tile to get this. So, in order for us... Yeah, we have to wait until this block here changes to do that. Um, I'm not going to trade three keys for a star right now. I'm not going to do that. And now we can backtrack to the beginning a little bit. Yeah, so we're going to come down here, walk across. See those levels that we've uh, done already. I think the place we're going to next would be up the ladder. Oh, wait. Why did I skip something? Oh, where do we go next? Can't do that one. Maybe, may, no, this one, this one can't be solved yet. This one can't be solved yet. Oh, right, I know where to go. I know where to go. We now need to go into the underground area to find where to go next, basically. Um, this entrance, though, is no good because although we can do that, we need to come from the other direction to actually properly secure it. So we need to find another underground entrance. If we use the mini-map, there was one directly over here. Uh, it's one that we can't access yet. So it can't be that one. Might be that one over there. Yeah, okay, that's going to be our destination then. Uh, Gooberfish Nate says, Yo, it's the Isle of Sea and Sky. It is. Are you a fan? How did we how did we get all the way over here? It was from there. What am I missing? I feel like I feel like I'm missing something. This one wasn't doable that side of the puzzle yet. This one here isn't. It might be that you need to go off island a bit to do to get to the next bit. Uh, yes, I got all the stars, but two, and they are hard. No spoilering. Yeah, I, I've got like 69, and I've, I've just got to a spot where I'll be able to get a whole bunch more. Um, this isn't, this isn't solvable yet. Where am I, where am I like not seeing the next part of the journey? I've done all of that. This is locked off. 
Maybe you do have to uh, go off island again. Uber Fish Nate says it is actually solvable right now. Which uh, which bit? Like, if you know the map system, which bit are you referring to? This one here? Was there a way in from the other side? Wait, we have? That's the tile we've been to. How did we get over there? Through through the, the bit of the top, yeah. The god area is solvable right now. Okay, then. Let's uh, head up here. Um, I guess that bit in the corner might be. In fact... Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. No, you're right. This bit in the corner is... Whoops. Kinda. Ah. Uh -huh. Maybe, maybe we need to... Oh boy. That one, then this one. And that, then that. There you go. Got it. Ah, there we go. So that's where I got stuck. Interesting. I, I didn't think that was it. Okay. I thought you had to get six of these in order to be able to break these blocks, but I've misremembered. By getting... By solving that puzzle at the boss area, we are now able to break these blocks and get further around the map. So we just need one more now. There you go. Thanks for helping me with that, by the way. I, I kind of forgot that was the order things went in. When I played this game for the first time uh, a couple of weeks ago, when it came out, like literally the day it came out, I was playing it. Um, it's kind of kind of a little bit foggy in which order I did stuff because I was just absorbing and exploring and... And you just kind of forget those details. So anyway, we've now like given ourselves access to uh, more of this map. And if you're observant, you might notice there is a character over here. Uh, a female who appears frequently in the game's like story. And the story is very ambiguous, no dialogue. Ah, but in order to advance the story, we need five stars. So we're going to have to go on the lookout for that. Um, here, by the way, this puzzle... It's like a slow one. You have to explore a lot. But when you stand on that particular tile, you unlock a piece of the puzzle. And later on, like, your observational skills will make sense. It's the same for this one right here. Like, there are some symbols and you are able to move this block, but not the other ones. It's all something you're going to solve, like, later on in the game. And, you know, this game will keep you entertained for hours. Uh, Red Stoner, thank you ever so much for two months of the Prime and Billman68, thank you for 88 months. Incredible support. Much appreciated. Alright, this puzzle here, by the way, uh, can't do any of this yet, but that key, the one just down there, I've not been able to figure that one out. Maybe today we'll go take another look at it. Uh, once again, we are walking past tons of interesting stuff. Like, if you look a few tiles below me, down there, there is something very interesting to pick up. And I love this approach. Now, the next... There, there are some things here that I think are a little bit tedious. Uh, one is the secret passages. I think it's cool to have these things, but... If you don't know to look for them, you might not notice that at the edges, the blue is slightly purple in places. Then when you come in here, there's a lot of, like, doing this. Just checking every single wall to find out, like, where the next turning is and stuff. So that, can, that, that, I think, is a little on the tedious side, but it's just part of how this is designed. You're going to do, like, a lot of exploring in this game and going around in circles, to be frank. Like, some of its puzzles are really tricky to figure out. That seems to be the most of it for now. So we need to go in the other direction. And the eyes on the snakes glow red, says Gobafish. Oh... Which snake? Where's the snake? What are we thinking about? Did we go up here? Did we come down there? Yeah, we've come back here. And now that is like an, a way for us to get around again. Alright, let's go up here. Oh, actually, no. Our priority is to get one more of the little square gems. Um, there is a teleporting feature here, though. So we can go up there to go down here. And we can stand there and push... That one across. 
Let's do. Let's reset. Let's reset. That's a good idea. Let's try this again. Because we've got one here. Do that. One over to the side that we can do something similar with. This is the level that kind of teaches you you can push stuff off the edge as well. Now we can put that one here. Put the next one along. Push that down and fill in the final hole. And get that. But as you'll see, uh, there's something else we can do here as well. We can go, whoops, in that direction. I think for a second, I think, I'm going to think reset the whole puzzle. Because if I'm not mistaken, the way you do this... Okay, it costs the key to do it, right? So we go there, push this one down, push that one down. But then the thing that might take you a minute to figure out is that you push that one up. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Over there. And now you can push a block all the way across to that flip-flop. I'm going to call it a flip-flop. And give yourself access to here. Where well, you get another one! Woo! And this thing, by the way, I don't think you can use it yet. I I won't tell you what it is, actually. I'll let it be a secret. You know, to keep you, entice you to play. If you're curious about what all the secrets are. I think there's uh, one other easy key here. We go up the ladder, we should be able to push it into the hole and grab that. So uh, we got our key back. Now we want to go visit the main tile. Jade Quartz is so cool. <laughs> Woo. Like I said, I hope this entices you to play the game. Like, if you want to check it out, just tune out and go get it. And save yourself the spoilers, because this game is fantastic. And look, that door we saw at the beginning, now we know what it's for, right? And did you see that? A little bit of the level has just changed. There is now a figure to interact with. What? And we get ourselves another star. How cool is that? Right, we learned that this guy can jump over holes and can destroy boxes. This one is in the way from us getting to the key. What are we going to do? We're going to have to destroy it, right? Whew. Push it over here. This is a tile we can stand on, but things bump into. A useful thing to learn. Now, in order to get it back down here, we need to think about the next bit carefully. We can push the guy here. And maybe one further. We need to... I think, I think we just need to push that out of the way. The problem is, once you push it this way... Oh no, you can go around the edge. Look, we can go around there. Okay, I think we got it. Like, push you there. We, and, and you learn it destroys that as well. Useful to know. Might come in handy. Right. Now, we can get the key. And that's it. We've done everything in this little area here, which is super cool. Now, look at this. All of a sudden, this becomes really different. Because we can do this now. The elements of the level have changed. When I push this one, um, it's going to bounce into the other one. That's just a way of teaching you what's what. Then you can come up here and push these ones about too. What we want to do is probably push one into there, right? And get that guy to unlock all of that middle space. Um, here's how I think you do it. Push this guy down. Push him across. And then up to there. The box gets destroyed, but now we can do that. And when we reset the level, that's, that's permanently unlocked, right? Which is really cool. So, uh, the next thing we need to do is get to that bell. So if we can have one of these guys coming in here, we can do that. The trick is just figuring out how and where. You gotta look at like what directions you can push them in, where they're gonna end up if you do that. Okay, so we can get that guy over there, which isn't exactly where I wanted him, but we sacrifice this box, then we get to do this. And now we can ring the bell. The thing is, we now need another box. So, can we do it without sacrificing the box? The answer is yes. I think. Yeah, is that... I kind of complicated it by adding in the box. Because you can do that. Or did I? I think you've got to push that guy into the corner. And now, now he's like, you know, stuck. It's like to remember with this game, when things hit an edge, they potentially get stuck. Ah, 
Now here is a flip-flop. Once again, the level is teaching us stuff. We can stand one of these guys on for a flip-flop. And then I can walk down here and get a star. How cool is that? What console did this game originally come out for? I don't think it came out for a console originally. It's a PC game. I'm not sure if it's actually on a console or not. There's an obscure dev easter egg on the screen with the big door. Don't have to do anything to reveal it either. The big door on the screen. If I just backtrack a little bit. Um... Oh, you're on about the door that we saw a minute ago. I do not know what that easter egg is. I'm sure this game is full of easter eggs. I found loads of crazy stuff playing this one. Now, where did we last have a... Yeah, one of those, right? We last had one here. Okay, we got... What's that going to do? Bam. But we need 15 to get there. Okay. Walk around here. And now we can access this spot. Uh-huh. Wondering if there's a note on this uh, this level here. This one, I think, is here to teach you something. I think it's here to teach you what happens with these. Because they, they actually, like, fall into the hole. Oh, dear. So, the solution to that... The solution to that is not to use it in that order. I think. Could be mistaken here. So, we can get in there get in there and then walk back yeah that's that's the one. Oh no it's not um so me queuing up that box earlier was the wrong way to go I should have left it there can you imagine speed running this and trying to re remember all the puzzles <laughs> now you put that in there and that allows you to do this and now you got a new place to go explore. And we've seen a little bit of this before. There is one particular place I want to backtrack to right now. Oh, can we go this way? We can, we can. I would most likely get stuck and give up if I played this game, says Show Dinero. Well, that's like a that's like a mentality thing. I I decided I'm not gonna give up when I play it. Like I really want to see it all the way to the end, and I've been doing that um i think it's about maybe how much you enjoy being in that moment of like not knowing what to do with puzzle games like this you get to experiment so much that you sort of try 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 things until something clicks if you get stuck um you know like getting stuck and stumped is part of the process for me ah it's this bit here this is where i want to go okay so do you remember this area like there was nothing to do here earlier except now right we've got two of these and this puzzle, if I remember correctly, in fact, when I first did this, it took me forever to, like, figure it out. <laughs> Speaking of getting stuck. But now, I just remember, you go around like this. Uh, you do that. But then, maybe that's not it. Maybe that's not it. Um, hmm. No, that's not the solution. Okay, let's go back a little bit. The solution is to go that way and then knock that guy there. Yeah, that's the way. But like, when you do puzzle games, sometimes there's only so many moves you can make, right? Like, you know, you can only push this thing in one or two directions. So like, try them both and find out what happens next. This game reminds you of a game called Pushy you had on, a, on your school computer. Um, the, the game is based on Soccer Ban. If you go look up Soccer Ban, that is, I'm going to guess what Pushy is like. Hey, look. This level's now different. Uh, what are we going to do here? Hey, oh, there's the musical note as well. We got our first one. What happens when I knock you there? Right. But now you're sort of stuck. These can't jump over two holes, by the way. It's something you'll learn. Did the guy did the guy destroy it? Huh? Wait, let's put that there. Oh, here we go. Maybe we're on. Do you destroy it when you knock into that one? You move it over by one. So if I yeah, but then when I push it here, now I can't push it again. 
What is the what is the solution there? Dang. What am I not seeing? You've definitely got to push that guy down to come into the area. And he only nudges this across by one. Oh, you, uh, hmm, no. I was, was going to say, if we filled in that hole... Huh. You need to push the blocks. Funny you say that. So I've solved this puzzle before. Oh, did you know what? I think I see it now. I think I see what you got to do. I'm getting a little bit of, like, tunnel vision, if you want to call it that. I can push another one down here, right? So then how do we make use of having a second one here? Huh. Not actually sure. I feel like I definitely need that one out of the way. Now, if I bring a second one in, it's going to be here. Unless... Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Although, it's still it's still actually a little tricky to execute. Uh, maybe I just need to make use of this space back here. So, I want... I want... No! I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Like, I want that guy to come in level there. And then be pushable. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I need both of these. Maybe I need both of them. Right. Could it actually be that? So this guy goes over to the side. Then we come down. Then we move you across. And then here's where it falls apart a little bit. Because I need to, I need that to not be there now. And that doesn't do anything, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, puzzle games. See, I, this is... Okay, this is where people often think, oh, I'm stuck, right? And this is where I'm like, oh, now we're getting going. It, was it as simple as that? I think it was as simple as that. Just forgot to move it over by one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yay! Yay! I just kept trying stuff, you know? And then to solve this... Like, you got to put the correct note in. Like, you're told what the notes are up here, but you got to put them all in order. Right, we've seen that. I think we've seen up here. Um, can we go to another island yet? I can't remember. I could take that, but I'm not going to. Let's go back to the Toidus. I think we needed five stars, right? Oh, look. Look over here. An extra key. Yeah, we need five stars to see the next bit of the Toidus. That was it. So if I go back up there and actually trade that in for a star... Right, then we go look at the map. Brain gears start moving, says Kemp pronounce username. Yeah, gets your brain gears going, doesn't it? There's one down there. I think that one wasn't obtainable. There's one in here. There's two there. So it kind of seems like heading to that area would be good. A little, I tell you what would be nice, having traveled a heck of a lot around these maps, a little bit of auto travel wouldn't be a bad thing. Um, this game does have a couple of shortcomings. One of them is that you can get pretty stumped sometimes and spend a lot of time faffing around. Some of it's puzzles, it's meta puzzles, that you don't actually have to like do all of them, but some of them are pretty like tricky to figure out. You have to do like a lot of observation and running around all the different areas trying to figure out some details and it's not explained to you directly and that's that's part of the beauty of this game as well is that it's all a bit of a mystery but that has its downside you know um so some of the stuff in this game can get a little bit grindy and i think fast travel would be something that would help uh, alleviate that okay um once you've done that i think you push this thing off and come around here what are we trying to do i've just i've just started pushing the blocks based on memory really if we get one out over here, maybe we have to do that one at a time or something. Well, that don't look good. Oh, actually, I was probably just supposed to send them downwards. It's like... 
Uh, when that's like that, yeah, you want to push them down. Well, that might have been the wrong one to pick. Yeah, there you go. Then you toggle this again and go and put that there. And obviously there's a second one. So we'll go and push that down. And then we'll get to the middle where there's another one of those things, whatever they're called. Now we can bounce in either direction. Now the next bit might be obvious. Either way, you're about to find out. How do I get up there? I need to do... Oh, I needed to do a little something else first. Okay. We need to go up here and ring this. And then do what I did. And you'll see how we're going to solve the next bit of the puzzle. Is to bring our crate breaking friends down to the bottom. Uh, then I need one more crate, actually. And luckily we can get it. Huh. How fortunate. Boom. Now let me pass, my friend, for I will collect that star. Who remembers why we were getting five stars? Zelda style, great. I never played Zelda, but I think I know what you mean. Isn't some of the Zelda games have like a top-down view like this where you can explore? I think so. Where are we on the map? Right, we need to go up twice. We need to be heading this way, probably, and then round to the left. we go. Uh, by the sea, says Mystical Maid. That is where the Tardis is. Indeed. Toidus! Okay. Now we've got five stars. We get to go and see what's happening here. We're going to see a little bit more of the story now as well. These cutscenes, they start off pretty short and they get longer and longer. Like, the next time you unlock one, you see more and more interesting things. It never explains anything to you. It never, like, tells you exactly what's what. It's always just mysterious, and it lets you put your own, like, story into it, which I think is a cool way of doing it. Not everything needs to be, like, perfectly explained, right? Okay, go get a star. We're up to six. And then we go hop on this thing. And see where it takes us. Okay, a whole other area. Other place. By the way, this. Is it here? There's a path. There's like a secret path. I think it's actually on the other side and was accessible to us already. Huh. There's a secret path that takes you somewhere there. Just, you know, you need those observational skills. Now. Ah, oh, we actually had whatever that required. I think that one was keys, right? So swimming around again. Look, you need 45 stars to access that over there, which has uh, some amazing puzzles in it. Oh, this is just one where you break it from the direction, right? So now we can go back to the first island, which is there. There's this thing. We'll have we'll have a quick look at the small islands. Right, you need six keys to play. I'm not going to play this one, but this one has green crates in it. And let me tell you how the green crates work, right? When you undo your moves using the undo button, the crates stay where they are. So this is like... <laughs> like a wild take on the puzzle format where undo now becomes a part of the process. Because everything else is sort of technically solvable without using the undo button, right? Okay, other little island here. There's a big island themed like this one. Get a key just for visiting. 35 stars to go to the next area. And an absolute mega puzzle over here. And then... Oh, I wish I could show you that bit. The giant bell. There's there's four of these, and you have to you have to use all four of them to unlock like another part of the game. Once again, you explore, you see things that are deeper in the game. It really entices you to keep playing. The whole lava levels as well. They introduce um, elements. Like there are four of these big islands, and each one has a part of it that changes later on. It's so cool. So same thing again. Now we're in this area. Here's a big map. When we get that, when we get to that boss area and we solve that puzzle, we can come back and break these blocks. Uh, an element of the level itself will change. I'll show you what it is. Well, I can't actually walk to it. Um, is it solvable straight away? This? I think so. 
yeah, new elements have been introduced. Now we've got water streams. You'll learn how these work by experimenting with them. I obviously am just using a bit of muscle memory here. Right, now, now we don't have to do that puzzle again. Really, really good game design there. Uh, hello, then you run away. I'm not sure if there's a cutscene. You're at the top. We'll, uh, we'll leave it for now. Okay. Uh, where do we go from here? Can we, can we get the one at the bottom? I forget. Yeah, you can, because you would have done this already. Then you can go here, do that. That lets you bring this over to the other side. So again, I love how these levels just have that kind of like... You can solve a bit of it, then reset it, and use some of the elements to do the next bit of the puzzle. Right, now when we come back to here, we can do this again. Uh, by the way, that there... It's the only way you can push it. It teaches you how that block works. And then you get a key as your reward. Um, anyway, the block that changes in this level is the puddle. Which I can't actually get to. It's sort of directly above. That dark blue puddle, just a few tiles up. That changes into like this little thing that you interact with. And all four of the islands have that. It's super cool. Because once you learn it on the first one, you kind of get this feeling when you come here. That something's going to change again. Also confused, but the visuals feel so nostalgic, says Kent pronounced username. Uh, Raddy Z says, this game is so cool, I've got to try it sometime. Please do. Like, I wanted to do this stream. I wanted to make a video on my second channel to just try and give it some attention. Let people know it's out there and say, look, this game is awesome. If you're enticed, if it looks interesting, go and play it. Because it's really great. It really is. And hopefully with this part of the stream, I've, I've convinced you of that. And uh, hopefully you'll go check it out and give it a go for yourself. The next part of this stream, we are going to jump ahead. Absolute spoilers. Uh, mods, are you able to change the title of the stream? If so, adding like spoilers in capital letters would be really appreciated. Because I don't actually want people to be spoiled um, watching. So for fair warning, we're now going to jump into here. Where you can see I've, I've visited all four of those. Why do I have a different icon there? Look. Oh, maybe it's because I quit while I was on the tortoise. Huh. Um, I have only two keys because I've been spending them. But I have four of those gems, let's call them, that we got by getting the bosses. I have five of the, what I call the obsidian shards. They're more mysterious and difficult to get. 69 stars and a whole bunch of extra special things. Now, I just got done spending a heck of a lot of time figuring out where three of these uh, bird cages were, right? Like, I've been putting markers, is another thing this game lets you do, put markers down, little maps, little signals to tell you, like, what's what. I, this one's really tricky to explore because it's, it's like, it's, this tile takes you to that one, right? Like, they don't, just because they border each other don't mean they connect. And I spent ages because I just, I just, when I was on this tile, I just didn't realise... I hadn't used that bird to explore to this one. Use birds to get around the island. So, this game can be a little bit punishing sometimes when you don't notice its quirks. But now that I've done that, the thing that I've unlocked is the ability to jump across a hole. So this massively changes all the puzzles we've played uh, when you can do this. Hop, and over you go. Right? Now I'm dead. So, what I want to do is backtrack through previous worlds and see what extras I can unlock. I think the first one I'm going to go to is the fire world and experiment over there and do some exploring. Uh, Dev's going to avoid the spoilers. Awesome. Seriously, I want you all to enjoy this game. So uh, tune out if you plan on playing it. There could also, there could be a couple of like single islands. Oh, this one. I think this one had a puzzle that I just couldn't like get my head around. Um, also, look, an obsidian shard. I just do not understand, like, how you get these. There's there's some sort of quirky thing that you have to do. Like, find a secret that's just, you know, not obvious. There was, there was one level where one of these rocks looks slightly different. And if you pushed in the right direction nearby, it would, like, unlock a secret thing. And it was just... I thought it was a little bit lame to do it that way. I, I don't think secrets like observational secrets if you let the player know they exist then they can look for them but 
Ones you can't observe, I don't know. So this puzzle I have looked at loads of times and I just don't really know where to get going with it. Um, one thing you can do, if you're slipping on ice and you land into one of these guys, that will do what they just did and like throw you off like that. So that's one thing to know about. If I do that, I just fall into the hole. Like, I can't actually get over to any ice. And I can see there's a little secret on the ice as well. I've just noticed that. There's a secret tile to get to. So that's something to keep in mind. These guys, by the way, they can't ring the bells, if I'm yeah remembering correctly. They can't pick things up for you. Maybe, maybe this is solvable now that I've got the hood. Because when you do that, I'm going to bet that... Hang on. Uh, we want one to sort of land in the right spot yeah okay i'm gonna bet this is how you get going yep yeah. okay that's how you get started excellent excellent so let's also find out if you can leave one parked in the middle and jump no it doesn't work like that so i reckon oh is that right that might work now i can get to this bit <laughs> um okay I leave you there and we get another one in the position behind it and I jump over no of course you're not going to throw me all the way over so I need I need I need one on the tile right I'm seeing how you no actually I'm not seeing how you do this we've got five of them we need to chain five of them to a position that's useful to me and if you look at, if you look at, like, where's my, can you see the mouse cursor on the screen? I don't think you can. I'm drawn to the one on the left. I'm drawn to going left because that's one of the things we've got to pick up. But we'll be able to backtrack into this area if we get to the right hand side. Hmm. That's not quite where I want to leave you, buddy. Sometimes it's useful to do this and then push them again. I want to leave you there. We want one here. And that's created the loop. That's created the loop. Nice. Uh, is that the way? Yeah, that's the way we initiate it. Then we... No, I need one in the middle. I need one in the middle. Okay. Beautiful. Right, now we hop on there. Oh no, I've misjudged it again. <laughs> I do this a lot with this game. I, I kind of like get halfway there with the mechanics and then forget it. Now, that means that we would need two here, right? So that can't be it either. Huh. Uh, is there... We've got five, right? If I jump from left to right, we go one, two, three, four, five. That's the way you do it then. Okay, you push me down here, then I can get you into the correct position. I need you there. I need another one right behind you. One there. Oh, I've done that one wrong. Ah. Duh. Yeah, it can be it can be a little annoying trying to get them in the exact same position or like the position you want, let's say. There's probably, there's probably smarter people out there that know exactly what to do. That looks good. That looks good, though. Whew. Hey. Nice. Nice. Star number 70. Beautiful. Now we hit that. And we can access the one on the other side, which we probably will solve by... Well, actually, we can't restart, can we? No. Hmm. If I restart, it goes back. Yeah. Okay. So we don't want to do that. Now we have another puzzle puzzle to solve. But there's also there's also an additional thing here that I think I want to grab now. So how am I gonna get? Yeah. That that's like one step. Then two. Right. Now I've got you in this area. I want you. Ooh, where do I want you, actually? 
Oh, this might not be that simple because I want the guy to face to the right. Huh. How do I... Like, by the way, you slide over ice. And when you control this guy, you can't make him face right on a tile. He has to walk from that direction. So how do I get myself over there? Uh, Johnson says, just joined. I'm assuming he doesn't want hints. I'll ask for a hint um, when I want one. But I kind of want to do this game like all by myself, really. Um... Two of them, two of them can kind of like interact and manipulate each other to some extent. I don't think to the extent that we want. Like if I park one here facing left, I think it's it changes direction. Oh, and then yeah, there's that as well. Like when you push them into uh, blocks and stuff. Like so that guy, if I can push him down one block, that's brilliant. The only thing is I can no longer interact with any of these. Let's go, let's go back a little bit, because that's one of the trickier ones, right? Like, how do I... Hang on, I think... Mm. Let's do that. See, it's changed their directions, which is not useful for us. Now, now the task is a bit more like, how do I get these fellas out of here? That's not very helpful. Like, how do I start moving them around? That's not helpful either. Um, if I put you like... That's not useful. Huh. Oh gosh. Nope, don't want to do that. I want him to sit there so I can push it down. Nope. Nope. Oh dear. Maybe, maybe I need to, maybe I've got the right idea, but I'm coming from the wrong place. Yeah. I think that's the way you, you must get started here. And what we've got to do is like move these out of the way one by one. But the real problem is I'm still stuck here and I can't push the guy to the left of me. You love the tiny model in the top right. Yeah, this game had streamer mode and I saw it and I just thought, that's fun. I'm going to have fun with that. I'm I'm pretty convinced I don't want to restart the level, right? Because the we have to unlock this thing and we've done that. So now from here, we must be able to go to the other side. We've got to line them all up at the top, and it seems incredibly difficult because they're all so close together. Just keep trying stuff. No, that doesn't work. Um, there's actually there's actually not a lot to try anymore. Now that destroys one, which we don't want. We need, we need one, two, three. We need five. We st No, wait. How do I get started? I'm going to have to hop over the hole again. So we need, to, we need to take what we've done and do it on the opposite side. So we need to get these things out of the way so I can walk across. Hmm. Maybe I need to throw myself into... How do we do that again? Like, if I... If I do that, yeah, that's not good. Um, let's park you there and do the thing where we go like that. I need to activate one and then have it push me. But I need it to push me. Okay, I think I see where I need to... Oh, this doesn't make any sense. Uh, no, maybe maybe it can work. Maybe it can work. This is very tricky stuff, people. 
Aha. I still, I still don't think I'm quite there. But now I can do that. I get thrown onto the spikes. Oh boy. That is something else. I don't think I can manipulate the positions of the other ones. What am I missing here? Yikes, don't want to do that. Yeah, I'll admit, I think I'm pretty stumped. I'm, I'm happy to move on from that, though. Like, we had a good we had a good go at it. I'll come back and look at it another time. Uh, there's nothing... Uh, maybe there's something else for us to do here. Okay, so that's... Remember I mentioned the bell a minute ago. I rung that. Uh, you can see there's a key. There's obviously something going on to the right-hand side. But I just don't know how to get down there. This feels like one of those ones where you've got an obscure secret to figure out. Oh! The heck... Wait, I could break that. I don't know why I could break that. Let's reset. Wait, that that's just now permanently broken. For real? Are there any more like that? Dude, the heck? See what I mean? Like, am I supposed to go and push all of these blocks now? Can I do it from all different directions? Like, what's, what's the dealio with that? Anyway, it does actually allow me to slide on the ice from there and do that. Now it's... The other side of that is where the tile was clearly different. And, again, the one on the right-hand side is different, too. I don't... Oh, wait, I go there? That's... That has slightly different texture on it, but it's not... It's not changing anything, as far as I can tell. Velocity. I don't think velocity changes it. Well, pushing that enabled us to get to here. Oh. Oh, here we go. Right. Now we can bring... How do I want to do this? I think I want to line them up. No, no, no. What am I trying to do? I can get to this tile. What I want to do is move that block out of the way, I believe. So that might be relatively simple. Let's go park you there and then give you a good nudge. Um, put you up there. I'll come around this way. Ah, but then I can't push you. So where do I want you there? That's where I want you. Dude, we got so lucky to find that sneaky little secret. Ah, uh, maybe not. Ah. Uh, if I do that, then I can activate you from here. Yeah, that's the way. And now I can tell you to buzz off. <laughs> no? Oh, wait, there, there is a secret. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god, I so did not expect to find a secret like this today. That is cool. That is cool. And that's probably all there's going to be here. So now we've got one extra key and we've discovered one other little thing in this world. Cool. Alright, that was wild. I think there's one over on the right hand side too. I'll have to scratch my head and think about how to do that another time though. And then that probably leads you down here, I'm going to guess. Yeah, look. Again, there's a little symbol just down the bottom there. Oh my god, I've just realized. I've just realized what we did before. Okay, I think what we did before when we get over here, that was actually quite useful. So let's try and do it again. Set these up one by one. Okay, then there's you. Whoops. I uh, did that wrong, didn't I? There we go. Right, now I can get up here. Ring the bell. But if I go... Oh, no. If I get this guy in the mix... I need you to sit there and then push you onto that tile. So come back... Uh, there. Got it. Slide. Over we go. Yes! There's another secret! Oh my god! The powers of observation. I've not been doing enough of that. Brilliant, brilliant. That, that was an epic discovery because I think I need six of those for where I'm going next. Well, I wasn't planning on going here next. Oh my god, that was so good. I, I thought I'd be worse at this game streaming, but apparently 
me spelling out what's on the screen is actually quite useful. That island, by the way, I think that's the one I really want to go to, but we're going to detour and go somewhere else. We saw this earlier in the stream, by the way. When I found this, when I was first... Wait a minute, this didn't go where I wanted it to. Go into that one. So to uh, Trober is explaining what I maybe haven't done a good enough job doing. There's always a subtle visual indicator for the hidden secrets. The snakes in the corner's eyes glow too if there's hidden secrets on screen. Oh, I know what you mean by the snakes now. I've never observed that. Oh my god, that's going to be super helpful in figuring out how to finish this game. So this island here has just some absolutely amazing puzzles on it. Um, this one I was getting stumped on. But it's the other direction we want to go in. I can now hop over those holes, which might be useful. Um, if we go up here and activate that, I think my double will be able to jump over a hole as well. This thing, I think, requires either six or eight. Oh, it's eight. No, it's nine. So I need three more. Okay. My bad. I need to get three more of those secrets to do this, this final bit. I say final, it's not actually. There's another final bit as well. There's just so much stuff. There's just so much stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't mind knowing about the snakes on screen having their eyes glow. That's that's super cool, actually. Just lets you know if you're on the right track or not. Uh, I've solved that one. We saw that earlier in the uh, stream. Let's push off. Okay, um... Uh, let's go back into here and make our way around to the Fire Island. The reason I want to go to the Fire Island is because I've got my new wings thing. And there's quite a bit of stuff to do there, I think. Okay. In we go. Uh, right. Yep, yeah, there's, there's glowing here. So there is a secret that I haven't found yet on this one. And it doesn't show you anything there. So now my observational my observations are going to go through the roof, right? But there's a note here, but I've already... No, I hadn't got that one. Oh, that was the secret. Right, that leaves me one note away from getting all of them. This is brilliant. I'm glad I decided to stream this. Um, there's something I want to test. I don't think the wings are going to help us here, right? But I can't get over this. I reckon you might get something else when you play through this level that allows you to eventually do that. Uh, no secrets on this one. However, uh, yeah, no, I solved this eventually. I solved this one. Okay, so this is fully done. I should probably start to create a system here. I don't need these flags anymore. I've done the puzzle for that one. Though part of me feels like I might regret that. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to need that information again. I'll let you, uh, if you if you don't know what it is, I'll let you find out when you play the game yourself. So, let's say, let's just put a marker that that one's, although that one's got the connection to that. Hmm. I think, I think we'll be fine marking it off this way now. So yeah, I want to mark off the levels to know if we've got everything. Like this one, there are no secrets, so we can mark it. Uh, wait, is the secrets? Nope, we've done that one as well. Uh, remember how we saw like elements that changed? That's it on this one. You get these little things. And when you learn that you can chain them together, it's just so satisfying because then you just go around the island and just start solving lots of stuff. Did we have a... Uh, no, no glowing snake eyes. So another one that's done. Let's check up here. No glowing snake eyes. Can we go to the left? We can if we take a different uh, direction. We'll check this one next. Okay, so there's still stuff for me to do here, big time. So I'm not going to mark that one off. There are no secrets, though. So, like, if I can get... See, if you look below me, there's lava. You have to be able to go over lava somehow to get that star. I don't know what that's about yet. So Troba says that puzzle is solvable, if that helps. Do you mean this one here? Um, I haven't really given this one much of a go because I haven't done the, uh, haven't found all the notes yet, so I haven't really focused on that. Let's go over here. 
All right, we've got glowing snake eyes. There's a secret somewhere on this level. So we're not marking that one off yet. And it might be a note. It might be a note one. I see... Hmm, no, maybe not. I'm looking at the tiles one by one, by the way. And I'm, I'm really not seeing anything on the tiles that looks out of the ordinary. Sometimes there's like secret little entrances under the lava as well. That doesn't appear to be it. It could be that there's something down the bottom, but the tiles don't appear to be different. Um, there's also there's also a key there on the left, and it it lets you walk down to this level. And I'm noticing that there's a there's a bit of. Okay, I think I could I think I can see somewhere you could try. Try for a secret. Uh, maybe get one. Maybe not. Uh, let's undo one move. I've not tried this before. There, there you go. I don't think the tile had a different texture at all. And that allows us to go this way. Uh, let's go back and just mark that one as done. Go up. Uh, is this one done? Yeah, no glowing snake eyes. So another bit done. And then here. Oh, what's that fossil? Is that a thing? No. And that's it. This one has no glowing snake eyes. Nothing to pick up. So that one's done. And then we'll go up to this one. Wow. Alright. That I'll tell you what. The snake eyes. That is super helpful. Just to know. There's definitely something to do. Uh, we got the note on that one. So we'll cross it off. And then we'll see what's over here. Okay. This is all done. And then if we head down... Uh, no glowing snake eyes too, but then there's that then there's this right this key which you have to get over the double fire and I I'm not sure if I've tried pushing a crate onto a double fire before I'm Not sure if I've tried that But then there's a little bit oh wait, maybe it was in a good position here <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god when I stream this game, my brain works differently. Okay. I like this new me. So we've got two there in the middle. I'm not sure if we checked that one, so let's go do that. My god, we're getting stuff done today. We're here. We're, right, this is the one above us. This one here, I haven't checked. No glowing snake eyes. That one's done too. Right, let's continue traversing the island. I'm pretty sure I did everything in the boss area. Uh, sometimes it would be nice if you could like, like you hit reset and it puts you in the way you came in oops wasn't paying attention sometimes it would be nice if uh, there were like I don't know a way to just jump to the other side so you didn't have to like puzzle your way around but I only say that because I've spent way too much time really just going back and forth in this game right let's check the top area where there is an awesome looking demonic beast Dude, that guy is ripped. And we got no snake eyes. So we did indeed correctly do everything here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ah. This one's marked off as done. But it's... Hang on. I've made a mistake here. There's a key. That should be one of the rules, I think, for marking things off. Is that there's definitely nothing. So I don't know how to get that key. And I've spent a fair bit of time trying with this one. Now, I'm pretty sure it involves getting this guy here. I think. Yeah, okay. So you can chain these guys together pretty easily. The problem is you need to get one crate over here into that corner in order to push this guy across. And shoot. I've never been able to figure out how to do that. However. Oh. I almost saw an alternative. Which is to have him face that direction from. Whoops. From further back. The problem with that. Is that these barriers here. 
you can't push these guys over them. So we can't push one here to shoot upwards in that direction. We can potentially shoot one of these and blow some things up. But if I remember correctly, that never really works out too well. So, like, you do that, then you lose everything. We need, we need like, two of them to survive, I believe. Um, the other alternative... Oh, you start facing that way. Okay, I can't push it down. Hmm. I've, I've, I've stared at this one a fair bit of time. It's not possible for me... I can push the one down the bottom up here, but then we can't get it to face to the right. So it's really... I'm pretty sure I'm correct in saying it's about getting this one over here. It might also be possible hmm, to shoot one of these. It's like, let's... How many... These have like three shots and then they're out. Maybe I'm supposed to spend a shot here first. Whoops. Oh, that, that's almost what I want. Like, that's almost it. I just can't now get below to push it up, and then I wouldn't be able to push it out to the side and bring it up here. Ah, and I'll feel close to what we're supposed to do. Okay, there's actually a, there's actually like another alternative here, I think. Uh, no, I have to push you up. Push you left. Right. Right. Then can I reorient you? I can. Now... The thing here is... I would have to get that guy onto that... Uh, okay, actually... Hmm. Yeah, I think... I think this might be doable. Maybe this is the thing I've never seen the whole time I've been playing. Because we're gonna... We have to save a shot, essentially. Which is kind of, kind of a weird thing, right? But I haven't seen this before. But you can do that. So now this guy gets to shoot to the left and chain the attack there. And that... That's not it either though, is it? Look, like... There is one thing... Uh, no, 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 it's completely pointless to mention. Um, I can now jump over a hole to go there, but I don't think that's useful. So we've, we've exhausted, I think, all ways that we can shoot the blocks already in the level. And I still don't see a way in which this is of any advantage. The, the key thing to note here is that... Do you know what? I can't, I can't get that one to move, so no, this wouldn't work. Try shooting the bottom one on the five pack. Great suggestion, because we can't push the other one down. I did not notice that. Okay, we've got to think about where we position the other guy. So, let's go around here. I don't need to save a shot on this guy, really. Uh, let's go there. Oh, wait. Uh, I kind of I didn't want this one to shoot that one, but it might not be a problem. Then, I think I've done this wrong. Uh, maybe not. No, I have. The issue is that. I need it to face that way here. That's the only way I can get it there. Facing that way. So this guy has to shoot that one. Maybe, maybe you've got one more shot left in you. Which, actually, I think I've done that before. Pretty sure I've done this before. But now... Oh, wait a minute. I think... I think I've done this before and not realised that I can push it into direction from there. I'm pretty sure I've done that chain of events before and just got it completely wrong. Wow. You just you just miss one little detail and it's like... 
all over. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Awesome. Any other secrets? Right, there are no secrets on that level. We tick it off. Awesome. Thank you for the GGs in chat. Here's another level. Nothing hidden there. No secrets. Okay, we're going to mark that one off. Although, I, I remember spending a long time doing a puzzle on this one as well. Um, there's a way down over here. Let's take that. Okay, this one is not finished but doesn't have secrets. So, I... Oh, I remember this one. What you have to do... Is you have to get... These crates to explode. And you've probably got to do it in a particular order, right? So, let's start by pushing that one up there. And I'm just going to go with my memory a bit. But if I knock that one in and bring this one across. Aha. Uh -huh. That's not the way to do it. It's, it's kind of on its starting position too. So where it blows up. Like that's the furthest we get it across. And then it, it destroys that which we don't really want. Because we can bring another one out. So let's go let's go back a couple of steps, right? And let's put that there. I think that all doesn't actually chain it the way I want. We want it to go upwards. So then you you end up using more and more of these, right, to get them nearby. And that becomes part of the problem. But let's give it a try and see if anything happens. Like what I'm doing right now might be very slightly different to something I tried before and that can be a big deal. It looks like it needs that one to actually be here. Let's try that. Right, and then we didn't get that chain reaction. I'm thinking though, if I get if I do this in one big go, I think it kind of works. There's an issue here though. Like this one I can't get out from this position. I can get one more up into that corner. Whoops. Let me, let me remind myself of what happens here. Right, yeah, we need two more. And you know what? I think we can actually do it. I think what I was doing last time I tried this puzzle, fresh eyes on a puzzle goes a long way. I think I was trying to do everything in one go. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. No, can this be done? I think this can be done. I think we've got to go here. Then down. Then up. And down again. Whoops. Aha, uh -huh, that looks very promising, doesn't it? That might be it. I think we still need this one down here to do something. Yeah, when I tried this before, I kept trying to do it in two stages. As opposed to do it in one. And now that I've looked at it again after some time... Oh no! What went wrong? Oh boy. Um, it doesn't chain quite the way I thought it was going to, but that's okay. I think I can. I think I can see the shape that we need to make this work. So let's go ahead and put that there. I think the shape that I want is like one, two, three, and then like that, which would make this one useful if I put it there. It would make it a part of the equation, I believe. As it would stop that one from slipping over. And I can push that one across. Okay, that's important. So let's bring this back by one. I think this is the shape we need to do it. Uh, let's go get this one. Whoops. Did that wrong, didn't I? Right, and now I think we're pushing that one there. This one next to it. The one over here goes in the gap. Oh my god, I think we've done it. Dude, chat, you are amazing. No, it's not good enough. Okay, I want to make a little change. Because these things tend to slide out when they explode. 
this is probably why I ended up trying to do it in two stages. Uh, um... I get I get called out because they slide. Now I think if the I think if the two that I put on the left were over by the right, we would destroy the one on the right twice. That would be the only one. I'm not sure how far I need to go back to make that work. Uh huh. Quite a ways for the looks of it. In fact, we might as well just reset. So what I'm getting at is, let's put that there. We need one here, and it's not gonna. It's still not gonna destroy the top one twice. Right, I think I'm gonna give this one more attempt, and then move on. This one here, though, I can't help but feel there's a way for it to be useful. If I could get over to this side and then push it out, I'm pretty sure I could solve this. But I can't get back across. That's the problem. Let's go push this one around. Oops. Up. Over here. Down. Across. What I should really do is get them in a more palatable position so I don't have to reset every single time, but, you know. Yeah, so that sliding effect causes us a big problem, right? I don't really know the way around that. Um, let's presume that slides and it lands there. Maybe that's the difference that I'm not seeing. And then it chains upwards too. No, and then that time it doesn't push it across, right? Like, what? I'm not sure what's causing it to sometimes slide further across and not. Oh, let's uh, undo that. Uh, there, there may be, like, another thing here, which is to go... No, that doesn't work. The pillar eats up the block, says Jeebus. Yeah, it eats up the block. Huh. Well, like I said, um, let's move on. We're looking for some easy wins here because I've played, like I've stared at these puzzles a lot, and now we found a way to uh, get to its secrets. So this one has a secret. It's also got a star. I've also spent a lot of time trying to figure this one out. But now that I know there's a secret here, um, I need to think about what it might be. There is. Hmm. I'm not observing anything that looks out of the ordinary. And I don't think the secret lights up if you've got a star. I don't think... It's a musical note! I didn't see it, but it was there. Okay, so... We still need to come back here to do the star. Let's go to the one below. No snake eyes, but also a star. Um, that you get to... Right. You get to it by that, wa that, like, that steaming water. And I've tried to go in there. I've actually maneuvered my way in there. And I can't remember if it was before or after I got the thing that lets you swim in water. So, uh, let's go over here. Down there. Back up. Uh, and start from this side. Which may or may not be helpful. Uh, not sure how I want to do this one. Let's reset. Hmm. Whoops. Oh, there you go. That's quite easy. Oh, wait. I need four of them down there. Huh. Whoops. Um. Dude, this is this is this is where you, this is where you slowly use, lose your sanity. Right, if I 
Uh, I don't know if this is helpful or not, but if I restart from this side, come back down, push you across, right, like that, when it's on there, it gives me one extra block of wiggle room, whoops, over here. This means I can push one more block out, so like, let's start from there, oh, uh, I think that's actually it, isn't it? There you go. There you go. We solved... Ah. Ah. It's still doable. Don't worry. Right. Now we can go across. I can swim. I can swim. Sweet. That means this level here is done. Nice. Still a secret on the one above. Okay, cool. Cool. Last time I did that, I did not have the flippers to let me swim. So now I can swim in hot water. That's another thing we learned. Uh, we got any snake eyes? Nope. So that is complete. Now we head upwards. Thank you for the GGs. Got another thing here. Wait, snake eyes? Nope. That one's done. Let's go up. If we can find a way. Not sure. Have we been here yet? Yeah, and it's marked off. So go to the right. Snake eyes. There's snake eyes. There's snake eyes. This one. I don't know. I don't know what it was. But I have tried to get. Around this middle area. I think there was once a star there. Star's gone. But there's still a secret. Right? Um, I'm observing tiles first. There is a curious looking tile up the top here. Uh, I think you do it like that. Oh. Oh my god. See, things like that. How do you know? Oh my god. This is ridiculous. <laughs> wow. Okay. Now, there's still stuff to do on this one, isn't there? Okay. What's over here? Have I been here before? I'm not sure. No, I must have I must have been here before. Yes, I've come up that way. So I've been here before. And I've seen those I've seen these elements down the bottom here and not known what's going on. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. So on here there's no snake eyes. But clearly there's something, something to do. So the secret Yeah, the secret that was on here is now visible. Apparently there's another secret though. There's still snake eyes, so there's something else here to find. Anyway, let's go back up here. I reckon there's got to be a way to get to that little obsidian island. So we need to keep, like, experimenting here. Yeah, I thought there might be something like that. Okay, interesting that there's one there. That's probably, maybe, I was going to say to back play. Wow, we got another one of those. Why is there one extra tile there? Wait a minute. Let's go back to... Okay. I don't know why they would put one extra tile there. Like, it lets you do that. But then we've already walked in these directions. So I don't know why that's there. Oh, it's because that doesn't exist. Right. So when you come back through again, you can go that way. Interesting. That means this one here is now solved. Okay, and the one to the left isn't. What was that one again? That one looks solved to me. There's no there's no snake eyes. I think I just forgot to press that. Wow. So now, this island is pretty close to being done. Let's go back down here, because there's more secrets. So what is the other secret here? I mean, this one. Have we checked this one? There's nothing there. And there's no snake eyes. So that one is done. But what's the other secret here? Is there another lava tile that looks slightly different? I'm not sure what the other thing is here. It kind of looks like I've done everything. Yet the snake eyes are still glowing. We've done the note. 
Down the lava. Oh, there's another one. I see it. I see it. There. Huh. Interesting. Where's this going then? Didn't we check all of the ones around it? What purpose does this serve? Maybe, maybe just you're more likely to accidentally find that one walking up here than the one in the middle. And it'll get you on the right track or something. Right, that's that one done as well. Wow, so there's only one, two things we haven't done. So that one's a puzzle that I just didn't suss yet. And this one is the note thing, which we're actually ready to do. Let's go do the note thing. This is awesome. I was expecting, though, to find more stuff related to holes. Uh, we can get here. Can we just go down that way? I think we can. Yeah, and then go down the middle here. Right, um, what's next? What's next? Wait, this isn't it. It's over there to the left. And it's above there. Again, this is where I think fast travel would be nice on occasion. Just to be able to like zip to where you want to go. Right, this is the one. Now what I got to do... I've got to shoot these things. But it's more than that, isn't it? It's way more than that. I think I've got to like break these blocks first. And I'm not sure how you get started. Uh, I wonder if we can shoot... Oh my god. Like, how do we get them to shoot into those ones on the side? Right, I'm going to call that... I'm going to call that a day for this island. <laughs> I'm good. We did an amazing amount of stuff. And those snake eyes, that is just... Incredible. That's such a helpful observation. Okay then, um, let's check this island, this little island, see if there's any snake eyes. Uh, not in this area, but that being said, we can see that there's an obsidian thing, but maybe you get to it from somewhere else. Uh, no snake eyes here. This one doesn't have a map, by the way. So to get to these other areas, can I go down the waterfall? I think you can, but then you're limited to that space. So bit pointless it being there. Uh, we go across here we will. Huh. Can I go across there? No. So that top bit looks a bit isolated and odd. So there's a puzzle here to get a blue orb. Kind of looks simple because... Oh, but that blocks that. Right, classic. What if we use you to mimic that block? Uh. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, and then see what happens when I send that through. Oh, the other thing breaks it, regardless. Huh. Then when I do this, you're just gonna bounce there. Very odd. So. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> um, there's no snake eyes on this one, is there? Johnson says, this one looks simple and it kind of is and it took you so long. Let's see, what's... There's probably a simple mechanic to exploit, right? And you just don't, you just don't see it. There is, there is something else I can do, another combination of moves. So I can do that, then this, and then go that way. Ah. Now that was different. What was there before? Nothing, really. Now I wonder... I think it's just going to destroy it, right? But it's the different type, and it overrides it. Ah, oh, that's clever. Oh, it overrides it. 
As soon as you said it was simple, you just made me think like, I just need to look a little bit closer here. You know? Okay, so we've done the first bit, right? How do we get back across? We go over here. I think I need to move that out of the way for a second. And then come back around because we've still got this. But it's going to slide out, right? Oh, actually, it was in a good position. It was in the spot we wanted it to be in. So we do that. And then uh, we go up there. Now, if I do that, does it... Yeah, it breaks it. So this is why I had the instinct to move that one. How do I get it up from here? I can do that and then push you, but you're just going to come back. Oh, that's interesting. Come on, we want the star, don't we? We want the star. Is there another... Which way? I pushed it in from the side. Oh, uh, what about... What if we do this? It lands there, and then I break it. Hmm. That can't be it. This might actually require, like, a restart. I'm not sure. Why does it slide? That's what's annoying. Maybe... Hmm. Let's go... Let's go back. Hang on. That's, that's the bit I'm looking for. Maybe we do that. Then that. And it stops there. Then this. Now, now it makes sense why that other water stream is where it is. Oh, except I've got to go through and nudge you up. Then come this way. Go back in. Give it a nudge. Go down there. Yep. Oh my god, puzzle games. They're so satisfying to solve. So satisfying. Another one! Another one. Dang, we did good today. Right. There's a little bit of this island we haven't seen. And the way we get to it is this way. Then this way. Then that away and this away. Uh, no glowing snake eyes. So there was this here and then that... Oh wait, you can go up here. This is what I haven't seen before because I didn't wasn't able to swim. Now there's that. There's also this that locks you into this side here. Can I go down from there? Ah. Well, there was also that way in. Right, we have now, I believe, done everything there is to do on this little island. I can't, like, check it off, but I'll just have to remember not to come back there. And that's eight of nine. I want to see, I want to see if we can get nine. We need to find an easy obsidian shard now. Oh my god, where should we go for an obsidian shard? I think we'll go to this island that you saw earlier in the stream. Oh, I missed a key. Okay, I'll have to go back and get the key. Dang. Yeah, you see, there are holes in obscure places around here. And I can't help but feel... Okay, uh, Snake Eyes time, right? There's still two places I haven't visited. So I reckon... I reckon we... Right, there's a secret here. Nope, okay, I can't use that to go up. What's the secret then? Like, I've... On these early levels, there it is. I was about to say, I've spent a lot of time walking on every tile. What I haven't done is walked onto a tile and gone in a particular direction. Oh my god. You have no idea how helpful that tip has been. <laughs> so, this one here isn't solved because I haven't found all the note blocks yet. Right, but now we've got nine. I think now this is just an amazing way for us to... Uh, to get something done this stream. And that is to go and check out that super cool island that we saw earlier. I am... I think I know... I think I've got a good guess, let's say, what we're about to unlock. If we're going to unlock another ability or power, I think it will be to walk through the shadow um, on the shadow levels. We'll call them that. I didn't really show you that, but on, on the level we went to that we called the dragon area or something... Wait, am I just going around in a circle here? There are shadows, and you're evil counterpart can walk through them, but you can't. And I don't think I really showed that, because we just kind of, like, walk to the end. So when you walk on the little pentagrams, you create a clone of yourself on the opposite side, and you use that to help you solve the puzzles. 
crazy, right? But there's these shadows that they can walk through, but you can't. And I'm pretty sure you're going to unlock this at some point, the ability to walk through. And that combined with my ability to fly over the hole there would give me the star. Which only I can pick up. Your evil counterpart can't pick that up. Dude, this is so cool. This is so cool. Yeah, they disappear then, maybe. Oh, they become blocks. Didn't expect that. But there it is. Or, or they did become blocks. Okay, when you get close to them, they do. And they fill in holes. I wonder if they've got any other properties. 73 stars. I can barely believe it. I can barely believe it. Now, what does it mean down here? That's interesting. Might have to do something with your evil counterpart. In fact, can't I already do something here? Wait, I did that wrong. Uh, no, I didn't. I just got to go over here. I can jump to there. Now, that's for the star on the opposite side. Interesting. Okay. What about that hole? No, that hole's not going to have anything going for it. This one doesn't have a mini-map for me to mark things off. Oh, yeah. Do that. Do that. There's a whole puzzle here to play. Nice. Now, uh, what about the bottom area? This, too, I found really difficult. But now it all changes because... Oops. Oh, yeah, there's that. Now I get to change these things. Wow. That's massive. Also, I can go see what's below here now because I can push... Oh, my evil counterpart is doing stuff. I can push that out of the way. Hey, what's this? Oh, why do I feel like there's going to be a secret somewhere in here? I'm looking at the tiles. There's a few that look different. But actually... Pretty sure most of them are the same. Okay. There might be something here. There might not. Ooh. Oh my god, there are so many puzzles now. I love it. You can mimic that as well. That is cool. That is cool. I can jump over that hole. I keep forgetting that. Then, then you're down here. That'll probably get stuck there, yep. This is where you probably need to use, like, this thing to navigate through the shadows. Oh my god, I've got two of them active. Oh, I ran into one. Oh, there's, like, several active all over the map. This is bonkers. Ah, I'm going to have so much fun with these puzzles. This is awesome. This is so cool. Ah, that's why there's two of them there, to stop you kind of cheesing the level to some extent. Uh, how do I get out of here? Ah. Kill it. Uh, I can get out. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. This is really great. Feeling a bit like Babber is you now. Yeah, I guess I guess it gets pretty meta in ways. I am so stoked, though, that, that we made the progress we did today. Because I feel like now I've got most of the components for uh, completing the game. Let's quit out. That was Isles of Sea and Sky, my friends. I really hope you uh, choose to go buy this game and play it yourself. Because it's wonderful, and I think... A small little indie game like this deserves some love. That's going to be it for me today, though. I'll be streaming again tomorrow at some point in the day. I've got to make a snapshot video in the morning. Hermitcraft stream in the day. That's kind of the plan. I'll probably take Sunday off. So I'll be back again tomorrow. There's a new episode of Hermitcraft out right now. Um, that was kind of my plan. And uh, then they dropped pre-release 4 or whatever it was. So, yeah, apparently Doc's in chat saying that we made a mistake with our redstone. <laughs> I miss Doc saying that. Uh, that was a whole hour ago, so Doc's probably still not there. I only just looked over at the other side of the screen. Thank you as always for your support, peeps. Hope you enjoyed the little bit of fun we had today with the avatar as well. That was good fun. And once again, uh, go check out the game. Support the developer. 
That's it for me. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.